Uh, right now, we are back with our tech expert, Mr. Grant Hines, getting our minds into some virtual reality gaming. It's been interesting to watch him do his thing right now. We're talking about Firewall Ultra, a game that many have grown to love. It is back now with PlayStation VR2 Sense technology. Grant, are you doing all right there, my buddy? I am. I cannot see anything but the game in front of me. But Look, I can hear you, and I know you're there. Okay, that's good. Follow like, the sound I'm of my voice. I can see my, my hand is, is Archer. This, you is, guys... this is fascinating, man. Um, we've seen Grant be busy setting up, and he's been doing all kinds of spins and, and you know, pointing of a gun and walking around. It's fascinating to watch. It really is. Yeah. But I... tell me about this game, first and foremost, man, because, I mean, it's such a big game. <laughs> Just take us back to the roots for those who, who is not really familiar with it. I'm actually going to quickly take this off. Oh, oh wow, the real world. Well, Hines. Okay. well done. Um, so, Firewall Ultra is a, it's actually a multiplayer game where you can play 4v4. There are a couple of different game modes. The, 4v4 was the one where you, instead of defusing a bomb, you got to hack a laptop, which is like would, would traditionally be like Counter Strike or Call yeah, of Duty. Yeah. Uh, and then the next mode is like you and a couple of friends could go up against some artificial intelligence, which is called uh, the PVE mode, okay. which is. Um, I think the, the one that a lot of people, especially in South Africa, are going to have the most fun because you've got to find servers with people that are playing the game, and I think that's the biggest problem. But the technology is really interesting. We've seen a lot of virtual reality games where you can use uh, controllers and, and visors to play, but PlayStation have done something very interesting where it's got eye tracking. I actually just want to show you. Okay. It knows where you're looking. Wow. So I, um, uh, you can see the screen behind me. I'm busy playing like this. So if I bring up a menu... Uh, to like this is w w w be a weapon wheel. That's yeah. what it's called. Where I'm looking, I'm actually just looking at those weapons. Can you see? Oh wow! And I'm not even doing like, and it just knows. So I select, I select a weapon, and check this out. So this is a red dot sight on a on a on a gun, and if it knows if my left eye is closed. No so if I way. so now so I, you I lean over. So as I close my left eye, my right eye is keeping the hollow dot sight. The red, like in in way. Can you can you see? My goodness. Yeah, no, no, for sure. So it's very cool. I think I put this gun in safety mode. <laughs> I don't, it's not firing anymore. But like, uh, and, and uh, same with same with one of these. So, yeah, very. It's very clever. But like, but you can see even my hands when I move my hands. It's the cameras on the lens because there's cameras on the front of this thing. Yes. Know what my hands are doing and are emulating it, Jeez, which is which is it's wild. Like, it's instant. Yeah, which I love this. There's, there's almost like no delay between your movement and what we see on screen. Yeah, which is which is wild. So it does minimize uh, a lot of the motion sickness. I get very motion sickness okay. or motion sick playing uh, these games. All right, so, so yeah. Okay. Oops. <laughs> yeah, be careful, careful. Got to be careful. So let me. Uh, why is it not letting me fire when I? So I've done something to this gun. <laughs> Look, I'm not a weapons expert, so like I'm sure I'm sure weapons experts will be able to, to do it. But it creates a whole new level of realism. So but this is I'm actually going to walk like... forward a bit here. So okay. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So here's a wall, right? If I lean, can you see what ha what's happening on the screen? Yeah. So like you could be playing a game and I could be leaning behind a wall and somebody firing. So you, you could literally hide behind objects. Yeah, and, and then like fire back at at the players that are playing a bit. So I, I mean I would show you like a normal gunfight, but I just to imp to show you how impressive it is, it's just to see action on screen is not gonna help you. But to see it act like how I move, I can even duck down and look underneath the table and then get back up again and be able to carry on engaging. Look, this brings a whole new level of immersiveness to, to this particular game as well, which I think is quite exciting. And thank goodness my boy is at school at the moment because I will never hear the end of it <laughs> if, he, if he sees that Grant has the best job in the entire world. Um, <coughs> what do you make of this, my friend? What look, do you think of this particular addition to this game? Look, I think it's very cool. I think what they've done here is a, a technological marvel, and they're using a lot of the, 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 the technology from the, the new PlayStation controller. Oh, it's my controller's disconnected. Yeah. Um, but uh, for instance, um, it's using the Unreal Engine 5. So everything looks spectacular. You, you were yeah. commenting about the graphics earlier. Yeah. That's why they're so good and realistic. Mm. Um, and then uh, using the eye tracking is just such a game changer. The problems that the game has is that not many people are playing it uh, because you've got to find people that have a yeah, PlayStation sure. 5, they've got to have oh. a headset, they've got to be on the same servers. But if you've got a couple of friends that want to play and you want to play against the computer uh, and have these like really cool 
re relatively yeah. realistic gunfights with your friends and, instead of just like a kind yeah, of like yeah. a experience. This is the, probably the closest way you're going to be able to get to that. Jeez, this, you know what? It's, it's just mind blowing to me to see how VR has evolved up until the point where we are now. Because I know that it, you know, it came out with a bang. There was a bit of a lag with it. Uh, it didn't really take off, and all of a sudden we see technology like this, particularly with things like eye tracking and the cameras in the front of this device. Yeah. Which just makes the, 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 the I think, the playing field so much more exciting. Yeah, I, I try to fire this weapon. I don't know what I did. You made me put the safety on. I didn't make you do anything. I think it's just that. being me being responsible. Yeah. All right, bud. So, so there we oh, go. There we go. I, I was not crossed the line. So there we go. There's the. Ah, uh, you see now. Can you see? Are you leaning? Like, yeah. I mean, everything just moves with you. I'm skew. <laughs> there That's we go. That's Zoe commenting from the sidelines there. Listen, buddy, um, this looks fantastic. I love the fact that the VR is so, it's, it's, it's real. It's borderline realism here. Um, what's your final thoughts on the game? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's very cool. I think if you've got one, this is the best kind of shooter you're gonna get if you've yeah. got a PlayStation VR. And if you're at a friend's house or you see it in the shops on display, jump in and play it for yourself and have some, have some fun. All right, well, everyone at home watching right now, if you are jealous of Grant Hines, raise your hand because this is epic, my friend. Thank you very much. Firewall Ultra, if you have it, if you are playing VR, if you have the VR2 Sense from PlayStation, uh, we would love to know your thoughts as well. Connect with us. Grant, you continue doing what you do oh, no, best. I just Why not? <laughs>